Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, it's cooled down here in Chicago, and we should have uh, below normal temperatures for the next uh, four to five days and gusty winds. Uh, most people think that, uh, in general, this uh, overall two-week forecast for the U.S. Midwest is a favorable one for harvest. As far as uh, news overnight, uh, you've got um, most commodities a little bit higher. The stock market could open up sharply higher. Grains are a little bit higher in front of the USDA's uh, September 1 stocks report and the annual uh, revision of the final small grains crops report. Uh, USDA reports are, are pretty volatile. Uh, there's not a real big range in guesses for September 1 stocks, uh, but uh, some of the numbers are made up by big changes in, in residuals versus just taking the June 1 stocks and subtracting demand and coming up with a number. So we'll see what they have in store for us for 11 o'clock and we'll come back and do a video on the market response. Uh, the market's basically looking for about 500 million bushels more corn than a year ago, about 100 million bushels more beans, and about 200 million bushels more wheat. And, and that's one of the things that is offering some resistance uh, to the marketplace. Uh, there were um, 979 soybean oil and 110 soybean meal deliveries on the October contract. The meal is a little bit of a surprise, but Eastern cash basis levels uh, have been dropping and, and actually does pencil uh, for some deliveries. Uh, we did see one private group come out with uh, their weekly report and say that Brazil's Soybean crop for 2016 will be 99 million tons. USDA is using 97. In Argentina, 60 million tons. USDA is using 57. Same group is still holding out that they think the U.S. final corn yield will be 165 versus the government's 167.5. They did raise their bean yield estimate, half a bushel to 46.5, and the government's 47.1. A lot of people think that that final bean yield might be a little bit better than 47.1. We do get our first census crush report in four years tomorrow. Average guess is 142 million bushels. Overnight, most of the rains were in the eastern part of the U.S. Uh, there is some rains across the southern part of the Midwest. Six to 10 day calls for normal to below temps, normal rains. Eight to 14 day calls for normal rains and normal to above temps. Funds were net buyers yesterday in the, in the futures and they going into this report. Month in, harvest, short beans and wheat, and long corn. Um, the Chinese markets, um, they should be closed. They're on holiday from tomorrow through next Wednesday. So not a lot of direction from them. So we'll see what the USDA has to say. We'll react to it. And then uh, we'll see what the market wants to do going into month end, harvest, and uh, trying to figure out whether we need to go lower to buy demand or need to go higher to find farmer selling. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.